Alrighty guys, good morning. Hey, day 176, we're over here at the uh, Full Goose uh, Shelter. Hey, we're getting ready to tackle the uh, Mahusik Notch, and then after that we're going to do the arm. They say it's either the funnest or the most difficult uh, mile on a the trail. They say it could take, uh, this mile could take like two hours, but, uh, and actually they had a, a gal airlifted yesterday that broke her leg. So, uh, hey, we're hoping to make it through there safe, and, uh, Hey, hopefully all's going to be well. We'll see how much we can video. And, uh, hey, good morning, everybody. Guys, been hiking, just got on top of this little uh, mountain. Missed the fog. My phone was turned around for a selfie. Heck, you didn't want to see this, anywho. But, uh, yeah, the fog, the cloud, well, not the fog, the clouds are just whipping by. Like I said this morning, we're getting ready to do a little Mahusik notch. It's supposed to be, like, uh, the funnest or your worst nightmare <laughs> so we're gonna see what it's gonna be now we got this thing called the arm all the sobos have been talking about that so hey it should be a should be a challenging day of hiking today I tell you it's a little wet so it's gonna be slippery we're gonna all stick together but uh <laughs> oh, we're not stuck together now <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, hopefully everybody's having a great morning. This is what we got. Thank God we got these planks or we'd be walking in ankle deep mud. Uh, well, I'll tell you, Maine yesterday, right off the bat, boy, they had this down that was, I think it was a warm up for the, uh, Mahusik notch that we're going to be doing but I'll tell you what had a bunch of ups too all the no bowers were kind of talking about it but right off the bat you know they're kind of it's kind of getting you a little bit not bad hey we've climbed them we got two ups today like a thousand foot climb then another like little one shouldn't be too bad but uh hopefully you guys are having a great day welcome to Maine the main event the main course, whatever you want to call it. Hey man, one state to go. It's hard to believe. Hey, but I'm putting this thing away because we're getting down some rocks right now. All right, guys, we're out. We might be uh, starting the uh, notch kind of thing. <laughs> Who knows? I'll tell you what. It's going to be a it's going to be a fun mile, that's for sure. Hey, but I'll tell you what, man. Everybody, man, it's all about being safe, man. We're going to take our time. We're going to take our time. You believe it. I'm going to boot scoot down those uh, iron rungs. <laughs> and I don't care who's watching me. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what. I'm going to do the old... Uh... Oh, he's doing the old backwards uh, fireman climb. Yeah, I'm going to do the old ladder. There you go. Alrighty, guys. This is a professional on the AT right here. Unlike unlike myself. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how you do it. <laughs> All right. There you, go, man. there you go. Guys, hey, old Magic, he was down here sucking up the AC. This is nature's AC right here. That cool air is just pushing through those cracks and them holes and right into this little notch right here we're sitting in. <laughs> uh, but we are cool right now. <laughs> uh, we just need some water. We just started the Mahusik Notch. Hey, and here's some leftover ice and snow down in here. Man, it is crazy. I bet you it gets chilly down in here in this notch. Man, that is pretty wicked. Here goes sleeves on a little uh, real time. I'll tell you what, we just started. This is going to be sketch, sketchy. Yikes. And I got to do that. Alrighty, hey, <laughs> see you on the other side. Guys, a little uh, Mahusik Notch, real time. Alrighty, guys. Hey, check it out, day 176, doing the notch. Hey, there, there's no way to describe it. You just got to come out here and just do this little portion if you can. It is just a rock crawl scramble, baby. Tree climb, even. Oh, and a tree climb. But I'll tell you what, it is, hey man, it's the AT. 
We got more? Uh, well, we got a decision. You either go up or over through. I think I'm going, you got to go through. Oh, he's going through the hole. I'm going through, man. Going through the rabbit hole. Yeah, I think I'll be going through the hole. Up up there looks a little... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you would have to climb that tree. Here we go. Ah, uh, you hear them young guns are on the other side over there. They're doing something. Hey, they're screaming. They're all, yep, they're all yelping over there. Maybe they've uh, made it through. I don't know. Oh, uh, <laughs> too early. Yeah, I agree. All right, guys, I'm getting on it. Man, we hear magic. We just don't see. Oh, there he is. Hey, guys. Hey, what hole did you crawl through? Oh, jeez. Hey, there's big blocks of ice down here. Man. It's all frozen and cold. This Ooh. gramble is this gramble's crazy, man. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, this is nuts. Oh. Uh, now I got to get my pack. Oh. Uh, he's, yeah. at, he's at the pack drive through <laughs> Guys, Gosh, we are God. way, way down in a notch. Worm. Yeah. Uh, I want, uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. Then you're going to have to bend. Can your, I hand you my stick? Yeah, then you're going to have to bend down. Magic, throw some WD on him. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where's WD with me? You want to take your pack off? Or you you think I'm going to make it? I don't know, man. It's take it off tight. tight. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you. That was sleeves. All right, guys, that arrow is telling us to go down underneath that big old boulder. Tell you what. <laughs> follow the arrow, man. Follow the arrows. Yep, this is the shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, cocoa pop, shimmy, shimmy, pop. <laughs> man, that water just disappeared, didn't it? Yep. It went underground. Hey, hey, we were done with a notch. Hey, well, we got to get up this thing. I'll tell you, <laughs> that is a rock face mountain right there, baby. <laughs> hey, mom, look. No hands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you could see that little bitty tower right about there well that's where we're headed two miles away I'll tell you what Maine Maine takes some time but we're gonna make it that's for sure but that's our next little uh, quest right now two miles over to the tower beautiful day we got like four or five good days coming it's just taking some time that's all hey and you know what that's all we got is time. <laughs> See how much time we got? We got time to lay around. <laughs> Drink out of a mud puddle. <laughs> got some mud puddle down here, man. Yeah, you know, that's our water water source for today. But man, all we got is time. We'll, we'll get over there. We got a guy waiting for us over there, over there at 4 o'clock. Hey, but it's going to be more like 6. <laughs> So we'll see what happens. We'll get there. Alrighty guys, way off yonder in the distance. Hey, we got the best of both worlds. We got a ski resort and a golf course. Man, that's awesome. Hey, I bet you they're teeing it up today, man. It's beautiful weather today. Alrighty, guys. Hey, beautiful little pond here. Speck Pond. Breeze is blowing on the pond. Water sounds fantastic. I'll tell you what. Great day today, man. Great day. Alrighty guys, real time. He's already up there. That's Brooklyn, but that's what we're climbing right there. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yep, that is a steep little climb. 
he's up there he made it <laughs> oh yeah all right guys brooklyn's up there time for me to get up there Alrighty guys, if you look way, way out in the distance, hey, you can see the border. That's Canada, baby. Mountains are beautiful today. Man, we just had Richard. Uh, we were hiking with him through the whites. He just met us up here on the trail. We were supposed to meet him down at 26, but he said it was such a beautiful day. He decided to come up here and meet us right on the trail, man. What a great guy, man. Super awesome, man. Beautiful day. We're hiking down. We should be down a little bit. It's hard to believe. Hey, we're down yonder a little bit, but I'll tell you what, we are way up there. Way up there on that peak of that mountain, running that ridge. Were we on that one way up there? Oh, we were on that one. Holy cow. All the way across. Oh, yeah. Just ran the ridge, wow. ran the bowl. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Holy Larry. Guys, 1923.9. Haven't seen many, but here's a little uh, campsite. Maybe uh, uh, one. You're going to have to clean it up a little bit. It's kind of rooty, but a nice little hammock spot right here next to a kind of cascade stream. 1923.9. We ain't seen many stealth spots, but uh, here's one for you. There's a little natural shower running down to a little natural bathtub down over there. You can walk down there, wash up. Man, that is pretty sweet. Alrighty, guys. Just got off the mountain. We're down here at the old uh, smoking good pig. Man, and we are getting ready to feast on some killer barbecue, man. Hey, Richard had a great idea. He said, let's go to Subway. And then he came up with an even better one. <laughs> the subway's across the street. Hell yeah. He said, I know this killer barbecue joint, man. Hey, so we're going to go ahead and smash some barbecue. Magic finally made it in. I think he's got us a couple of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to eat. Hey, and we'll get back with you later on the night, man. Hey, done smashed that barbecue. Now I'm going to pound down a little carrot cake action. Oh, yeah, baby. Corner Farm, and we're the largest greenhouse complex in western Maine. Uh, we mainly grow flowers. Uh, we have a year-round business with Christmas trees. We cut timber. We have every month we do something different. We're a, a very diversified farm here. How big's your farm? Yeah. How Our big? Beans? How big's your farm? Uh, it's about 150 acres here. Wow. And we've planted over 5,000 trees uh, over the years. And uh, a lot of the wood in these buildings that you see behind you and around you came from the farm. It's all native pine. Neat. So. And you've got a sawmill. We got a sawmill, and uh, I've been building buildings up here since, since ever, ever. Good stuff. I just, they call me a master builder. <laughs> I go out, cut the tree, build a building. And what, and what a great place too. This, so, this, 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 this has uh, always been is a farm. Be beautiful. This has been a farm since the uh, late 1700s, right through the 1800s. There were five more farms beyond here at one time: a grist mill, a sawmill, a schoolhouse. <laughs> And so on. So it's a little microcosm. So is this farm always awesome. been in your family, or no, no? This is a first generation farm. That foundation you see over there was the original barn. And the original barn was there in 1859. The Civil War. A lot of the people that went to the Civil War down so never came back. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these old farms were uh, abandoned. 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 Yeah. yeah. So that's the original foundation right there for the barn. Cool. Everything else yeah. here I've built. This uh, this is just an awesome place, Richard. Awesome, yeah. very nice. You got a spot. Guys, the main house, and that's the that's the store, and that's the shop. There's the greenhouses over there. This place is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Hey man, I'll tell you what. If this place wasn't enough, hey man, I gotta a hey, I gotta come up here, man. Look at this shooting range. Oh my gosh. I know. Hey, I'm in heaven, man. Heaven. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Hey, what shelter can you have a carrot cake? 
Starbucks party mix. A brisk. A brisk. Hey, what shelter can you have uh, all that at? I'm going to tell you what. It's the secret shelter. And I mean a real secret shelter. This is top secret. Yeah, if you find this place, man, you are aces. <laughs> oh, hey, this place is hands down. You, hey, you, I know you got the secret shelter. We know where that's at. But I'll tell you what. We ain't telling. Guys, wrap up for day 176. We're over here at the secret shelter. Boy, if you can figure this one out, boy, you have uh, you are an AT uh, professional. But old Magic, he's in the bag. What a day today, man. We only punched out 10 miles in 12 hours, but I'll tell you what. We had that, uh, what was that thing? The notch? Uh-oh, he's coming out. <laughs> hey, Magic. Hey. Morning. How you doing? How was your day today? Day was good, man. That notch was, uh... It was something. It was something, all right. There was a lot of climbing, a lot of crawling. Uh, you know, it worked you a little bit. Yeah, it did. But, uh, you know, it was challenging, but it was fun also. So you can look at it two ways. It's either the hardest thing on the AT <laughs> or the funnest thing on the AT. So, you know, you just choose one. You, know? you just got to... Well, it, it was the funnest thing when we finished. Yes, uh, I agree. It was funner when we done her. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, it was even funner after we climbed that uh, 1,500 foot in less than a mile afterwards. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then that not so steep down. That not that steep down was not so steep. No, that wasn't bad at all. Yeah. Really, it, huh, it looked it looked a lot tougher on gut hooks. Yeah. Oh, that's that's for I sure. Don't know. But Sometimes I, that gut hooks is a little deceiving. But I'll tell you what, after that 12 hours, we had some dang good food, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, we had uh, pulled up to a little uh, little uh, barbecue uh, trailer and had some uh, some good roadside barbecue. Yeah, it was. A little uh, brisket and uh, some uh, pulled chicken, mm -hmm. baked beans and slaw. And some fake southern cornbread <laughs> some kind of a cornbread but uh it wasn't your uh southern uh southern style it wasn't grandma's recipe yeah it wasn't um it wasn't a southern style i think it was almost gingerbread it almost looked like a gingerbread yeah it looked almost <laughs> like a gingerbread so but it was good anyway man i'll tell you what in this shelter man this shelter's right on i think i'm gonna build one of these things we have we have got it so sweet Man, a shelter all to ourselves. We don't have to share it with anybody. <laughs> uh, the only trail names in here tonight are Sleeves, Magic, and UD, baby. <laughs> yep, yep. We're, yeah, we're in high cotton tonight. Oh, yeah, we are. Going to be 45 degrees, good sleeping weather. Yep, that's what they say. You got that right. I'll tell you what. Sleeves, how was your day? Man, it was good stuff. The Mahusic Notch, check. Yep. The Mahusic Arm, check. Okay. Old Spec, check. Man, we're moving closer to Katahdin. Exactly. And we didn't even break a leg. Hey, I'll tell you I, what. On that note, uh, for the gal that had to get airlifted out the other day, hey, yeah. thoughts and prayers with her. Make sure she gets better. Hopefully it's not uh, too bad. But we heard about her getting airlifted out the other day That's with a I broken know. leg. Um, so says a bunch of hikers. But uh, thoughts and prayers out to her for sure. Most definitely. I tell yeah. you, man, that notch is no joke. <clears throat> no joke. Hiking the AT is no joke, you know. So, mm -hmm. but uh, Richard came up to the mountain and got us today. What what a guy! Psst. Uh, you know, we 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 are meeting folks that are just open armed and just uh, taking us in and 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 just man making our trip all that much much more uh, pleasurable. Just wanted to make this journey good. Yeah. You know, it's just it's. It's crazy, uh, you know, just, um, you know, people out of nowhere just wanting to, mm -hmm. wanting to help and wanting to make sure we, uh, you know, we're, we're having a good time. And, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Richard, uh, yep. for your hospitality. Yep. Um, it just, uh, it's, it's really 
kind of getting overwhelming sometimes. Mm -hmm. So, but hey, we're enjoying it. Not only did he, not only were we supposed to, not only were we supposed to meet him down by the road, he actually hiked three and a half miles up to the trail to come get us yeah. and was waiting for us. It yeah. was it, it, just remarkable, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. 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 where we come from, it, that don't happen. Yeah, we appreciate it, Richard. Absolutely. All righty, guys. And on another note, we're allowed now to reveal um, the identity of Mrs. Anonymous. And this was um, the uh, trail angel that helped us out over at um, uh, Rattle River. And Sleeves, go ahead and take over on this one. Man, let me tell you, Rhonda, let me tell you about Rhonda. She is the wife of a fellow through hiker named Halo. He is moving forward. He's pretty close, just a little bit behind us, I think. But man, Rhonda coordinated some amazing uh, trail magic for us. I think there were some folks in her neighborhood and some folks from her church that helped her out and mm -hmm. stuff. But man, let me tell you, it didn't get any better than that. Steak dinners for the three of us, <laughs> nine pizzas for the rest of the hikers. Gosh, man, was that good or what? That was just amazing. That that was that was uh, that was over the top. Mm. Most definitely, uh, just uh, thank you so much, Rhonda. Yep. Yes. I r right when I put my video out, I put my video out that morning, and Sleeve said, "Hey, it's okay to reveal her identity." And I had edited out Rhonda's name every time somebody said it, and I'm like, "Oh no." But Rhonda, hey, I definitely want to just, just man, I, I, we can't thank you enough. I, I, and for uh, everybody involved with uh, helping us out and sending those pizza pies and, and the dinners and everything, everybody, everybody that helped out. They were blown away, man. man the hikers thank you. were just, they, oh. they were ecstatic. Hey, and that was just the hikers that were there because the next day they still had pizza to eat. So, boy, I tell you what, man, th thank you, Rhonda, and everybody involved. Yes, thank you. Well, Magic... I'm kind of tired. <laughs> well, let's uh, get in the bag and wait to see what tomorrow brings. Good night, America.